a lot of them uh, have this misconception that boxing means you know both of them have to hit each other boxing equals to violence so i wanted to break that when we started king of strength the main idea was to actually share what i gained through boxing a lot of uh, discipline life skills not giving up in life from young itself i had a lot of interest in martial arts not only in boxing uh, just i like the fighting like in in movies uh, games everything just like fighting uh, a lot when younger age my mom actually sent me to taekwondo and i was doing that for some time and uh, after a few years later that's when i fell sick and then after i recovered i had a friend who was already inside boxing so he calls me over and that's when i started boxing Uh, probably thanks to my coach uh, my uh, his name is coach Bala is no more around but uh, he only just ensured that i came out from all the side effects of cancer and my treatment through boxing after my treatment i had this issue where my saliva glands were affected so i had to drink water every few minutes without water you know the whole mouth gets very dry so with somebody like that who's going for boxing i had my water bottle all the way beside me while i do my training and then he's the first person who said you know you put it there a little bit more and then you can do your training uh, a fighter doesn't need to depend on something uh, you have to to have the lion's mindset so he actually fit us a lot with those kind of motivation and that kind of uh, a spirit i should say and uh, that gym was also uh, having everyone with that right mindset you know no one gives up with each other there's no competition within each other and he also tried to pull in as many people in terms of uh, with different walks of life into this i've seen uh, somebody in the uh, one uh, one arm uh, just trying to come inside boxing somebody with special needs inside boxing he tried to encourage a lot of females to pick up boxing because back then it wasn't fame, uh, it wasn't popular at all i think i have the effect of him where i also want to change people i want to make sure that everybody understand boxing at the right way the the beauty of boxing rather than looking at the uh, violent side or the the injury side of boxing so i wanted to start off something to do with the fitness line and that's what i studied about also so i i joined a few gyms for personal training and then I, uh, i didn't like the amount of sales pressure i got from there and uh, i was young so that's the reason why i actually wanted to start something small on my own and i i had no idea to do anything regarding uh, business itself so i actually just started it like uh, those underblock void decks and just started to train with my friends and family and then slowly uh, we we grew from there we went to a small industrial area at issue itself and then uh, slowly progress to, to where we are right now at uh, that point of time because i was really young to be a coach and all the other uh, other coaches was about 50 plus 60 years old so <coughs> that judgment was there in the initial days the moment we start doing well then uh, people start to realize that these guys are serious and um, they they have a potential and th- that's when it started breaking barriers My current coaches number uh, uh, coach Krishna is actually uh, he came to us through internship once I finished my internship the owner of the gym the head coach former head coach he wanted me to be a coach here and eventually I wanted to do this as a part time base so until I get to sign on in the police force but apparently I didn't really get through the interview on the third time so I happened to take take this as opportunity to change my career into my passion. I'm not sure what exactly he saw in me but maybe he likes the part in me when I take my junior class because I started off taking off a lot of junior classes with kids so he found that that is something that I have a specialty and apparently I think he liked that but apart from that if you ask me what exactly he sees in me that he chose me I am not sure but only thing I can say is um maybe the hard work that I put in to really bring up and do things for the gym. Uh, number one they have the passion to teach actually rather than experience and qualification uh, one thing which actually started me off was the passion and that's the same thing I look forward in my coaches whether uh, they, they are ready to give everything because this is not a money making uh, job it's not the best paying set uh, best paying job out there so you really need passion to last long you really need the interest to stay in this field. Honestly, I just 
teach from the heart rather than any particular approach I see on that day, how's the members feeling like and how's their response on that particular day. And then I adjust my approach according to that because if there's a fixed approach and then the member comes in, it's, it's a bad day, it might not work. We have trainees who come from like, you know, they just came up, lift, them, lift themselves up from depression. So trainees with depression, anxiety, and also we, have do, we do have trainees who are ex-convict. I decide to see them as all the same, equal, you know, be it with conditions or without conditions, I have to see them as a normal human being. That is when they'll start to understand what they are capable of, what potential they have within them. Honestly, you just need to listen to them. Sometimes it can be a regular trainee who has been all right all the way and then just one day uh, showing some kind of tantrums or not, not giving 100%. So sometimes we just try our level best to follow up and ask, why are you feeling that particular way? And uh, most of the time, they do open up to us. It really takes a lot of patience to really understand them. And at the same time, you need to put yourself in a situation where you are them. So how will you be thinking? How will you want to react? How do you want to motivate them? So these are the things that I personally feel that we need to do as coaches when we are handling this kind of situation. And now when coaches, when we slowly advise them with a bit of love, a bit of respect, and of course, the love for boxing, when they do it, uh, it really feels so good because, again, this is why we started this entire place for, you see. I personally say that I've learned a lot from my mentor, which is Coach Kumar. So he have the one, he's the one who's had been guiding me throughout the whole entire few years until came to a point where he feels that he can take a step back where I can run the show. In terms of learning from him, I've really learned how to be a good coach, a good role model, a good fellow friend. More overall, I feel that I've learned from him how do I cultivate this culture on family. Despite from different race, religion, background, you know, I really learned in terms on how we are going to make them feel welcome. That is what I really learned a lot from him. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the gym, instead of thinking of expansion and uh, opening up another uh, place, which is definitely there, but we are not rushing towards that. We just want to make sure that this place is perfect by itself first. We don't want to disappoint anybody. We want to make sure that everyone who steps in goes out 100% satisfied. And uh, I think that itself is the main goal for the gym right now. And that's what I'm looking forward at this point of time. Rather than even bringing up fighters feels good, wins medal, uh, brings name to the gym. But really the fulfillment and the satisfaction uh, gets when you change somebody's life.